Captain won the knife round. And we are going to go into the pistol. So, Scream's going to be the defuse man with the nades as well. And it's full Kevlar on the Envy side. We should have the sound coming in very shortly indeed. Don't worry about that. I can make the sound for you guys. <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, okay. he's, not, what, he's not running, Jace. Stop. <laughs> so first early frag on the Envy side. Smith to go down. And Envy seems to be headed towards A. Happy is going to be playing the lurker role. But he's going to get taken down by shocks. And uh, Tyson seems to have read on what's going on. They've already got three people towards the A bomb site here. Kiyoshima going down to existence. Yeah, there's shocks able to take down Apex. So two versus three situation. Envious definitely in a lot of trouble here. Look at the pressure coming in. Scream. Oh, he gets dinked there right at the end. But he, d he will survive. And it's going to be MBK now on 14 HP. He's got uh, 40 seconds to play, he has to go for the jewels. He's going to get a nice shot there onto RPK. They're both incredibly low now. In fact, MBK is the healthiest player all of a sudden. And actually, Titan making the smart decision to change their positioning and work their way around together so they can play the trade. They know MBK is low. And he's trying to bait out the player that he feels must be at CT. But Titan are playing it so safe here, allowing him to plant. I really like this from Titan. And MBK will spot, I think... Just one of them, but oh, RPK, nice shot straight to MBK, and uh, let's uh, have to see whether Titan can really abuse this good start now. I mean, this is one of the maps where having that good start, having that good economy, getting those ults you know, really fast, it can be so awesome. And uh, I mean, would you like to see Shox or Smith pick up the AWP here, like, on, like in theory? Well, Shox has been avoiding the AWP for a long time, actually. You know, he does. He opts a lot less than he used to, so mm. I would definitely say Smiths because, if I remember correctly, I think it was there was a relation to, I think there was a relation to um, to confidence there, and that might be why he stopped using it. But um, he uses it a lot less than he used to, so Smiths basically. So we should have uh, after this round, the sound will be fixed. Don't worry about that. So we've got three. We've got three rifles on the uh, CT side and two MP7s. Let's see how the CTs deal with this anti-eco. Looks like the uh, NV side are going for a smoke plant. Bomb's not down just yet and the numbers are thinning out. And there it goes. They've made that play there and they've got that money in the bank. And there's a lot of plays lost for Titan actually, but it will be a cle clean up finally. So I'm sure the other, well, one other rifle will be recovered in this round. Yeah, this is something that uh, I often talk about when, when you have teams like Envious, when you have a lot of skill on the, th on the team. And of course, a lot of uh, rehearsal to a lot of drills. You can, after getting the bomb down on the pistol, you can opt to try to put the pressure on immediately. I think it's really strong on a map like C on a map like Mirage, where the CT side, if the con economy really gets rolling, then it's really awesome to have that execute straight away. Not, I mean, not you know, give that eco round then into AKs. I mean, sure, you get AKs out on the third round, but you know, as we can see, the execute on A can be really devastating. They killed three players. They got a bomb down again. So now Titan's economy is is actually really shaky. It's really weird watching Counter Strike without any sound. It's really weird because you know, <laughs> you know, I know, like Lurpus, for example, a lot of the time watches matches with the sound muted on it, and I and I, <laughs> I, I I've I've tried it no, once, and it was because he doesn't like any anyone's casting, James. <laughs> probably that. <laughs> I don't think he likes anyone. Um, I like him. He's alright. Maybe we should get him in soon. But anyway, um, yeah, it's it's interesting. I, I've tried it once. It's not something I do very rarely, but you can focus a lot more on uh, on what's going on in the minimap and so on with no sound. Mm. But when you're casting it, it's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of. I, I guess I think you know you, you get a lot of natural cues as to how your energy is supposed to be based on kind of what you're hearing in Counter Strike because it's very, very like I mean if there's a lot of people shooting at once. You kind of you get you can feel the tension. You can feel like it's okay. Stuff's happening right now. If no one's really shooting, it's like oh, you know, the natural kind of build up of the fact that it's just quiet right now and something could be happening. And you get to just assess the situation. It's a slow pace. But when there's no sound, it's just stuff's happening. It's stuff. Stuff is just happening. It's it's so weird, isn't it? Interesting fact. We actually had uh, we had a pair of these in our old studio way back when. For those of you who remember. And we were going to use them at some point, but they went missing. I remember we were ha we were actually um, we were having some fun with Anders with props, and I was like, "Oh, you just wait till our next prop." But somebody stole it. 
Somebody stole it. We never are you, found are it. Are you implicating Anders here? You well, somebody's. Anders? Well, no, he he, he wasn't there. Then he was in another country, so I'm sh pretty sure it wasn't. Hey, him. Anders, I'm sure he could. But uh, he could, you know, plan an operation with a few men to uh, to pilfer our props, James. Operation Few Men. I don't know. Anyway, but this is cool because the first the first version of these I got was just like a one hard piece of plastic like this, but now they actually have uh, folding arms and it comes in a nice case. Look at this. So, uh, are they comfortable, Dan? Yeah. They look comfortable. They're fairly comfortable. I can't, the thing is I actually need to wear my glasses. Sometimes I wear contact lenses um, when it rains and stuff because it's a pain to do the lenses all the time. But uh, yeah, I can't, I could do this, I suppose. Doesn't really work so well. No, it doesn't. I can't remember what our next giveaway is. I know <laughs> it's the last time. Well. I know it's uh, six seven five k. I think it's two Fauci and knives. So make sure you follow the channel, people. It's because your your sickness is has gone. Your skin sickness. Yeah, well, it's gone in a way, but it's still causing me to spend money. <laughs> So I thought, so I it's still this, yeah, it's still a problem. I said, so I, I finally stopped opening cases. That's good. So there's no more buying loads of cases and opening loads of cases. So if I if I like a skin, I just buy it. It's a, but the problem is some of the skins are not very cheap. Dan, I bought a I bought a Crimson Web Karen bit. I'll leave you to uh, figure out how much that cost. It was a lot. And other things, but I I think I'm I think I'm mostly done now. I think I'm mostly done. Well, speaking of stolen props, at least we got our grenade bag. But I feel like it, the grenade is pretty lonely on the on the desk. So you think we should give it something else? We should we should uh, turn the, the grenade into a character. Like what? Give it some goggly eyes. No, this is not Blue Peter. <laughs> We're not doing anything like that. But if it was, we could get a dog and everything. That'd be great. Get a, get a dog, some animals in the studio. I I I think I suggested an animal. I think I suggested animal. a monkey. A, m a monkey? Well, yeah. But that would be chaos. Uh, well, my main concern is defecation. <laughs> 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 my main concern is defecation. Are you serious? <laughs> but what, you okay, serious what, right what, uh, what animal would you suggest? But what, okay, wait, wait, wait. For so the studio. Wh why did you suggest a monkey? Exactly? I just what, thought what, it would what? be interesting. It could chill what, out. It could just what? It could just chill out, just hang, hang about. I suppose. Hang on, it would hang on the lights. That there's That'd a be dangerous. Of, there's a risk of that, yeah. Electrical fires. Have you heard of those? I have. Yeah, we. You know why? Because because we had a because few of monkeys. those. Because of producer Reese. So what what animal would you suggest? Well, I mean, the, the easiest one, highest approval rating is on YouTube. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, is, where's the dun -dun -dun bit? Is a is a cat, James. What? Kitten. A kitten. Yeah. Obviously, the internet loves cats. But a cat would be better than a kitten, surely. We can even give them away. Give kittens away. Yeah. But you can't. We can't give kittens away. Why not? Because what we don't know what kind of home the kittens are going to. <laughs> That's just completely what do, ridiculous. What do, what do you think of our viewers? You could James? you could post a kitten to like a tyrant. Can you even post a kitten? Is that a thing? Can you post that, kittens? You, you know that that might be a good thing. Maybe a tyrant just needs a little bit of affection. Maybe then he would be quite the tyrant. This is what. How did we get onto the subject of posting kittens? Let's just stick to kittens in the studio. Aren't they going I would, to? I would, I would like an aquarium. We could replace these with a, with. A just aren't they going to defecate everywhere? No. But can't you treat? Can't you train? Can't you? Don't they need training? I don't know. I've never owned a cat actually. You haven't thought it through, have you? No, 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 no. no. But I've seen other people do it. Although, in, in fairness, I hadn't thought it through either. Yeah, I mean, we need to, we need something, James. We need to stand out. If we go on getting animals, well, how do we how do we do this? We get a stuffed one, I suppose. But then we could then get, we're we're get going a back to Blue one. Peter again. <laughs> That's true. Well, we could get like some fishing wire, <laughs> just pull it from side to side. Okay. I, th I think we should just ki just kill this whole project. This whole project is done. Yeah. Done. So if you're just joining us, we're just waiting for a resolution to the lack of sound, which is being worked on behind the screen. Yeah. Hopefully. It will be done soon. In the so meantime, we are here. We were in Serbia last weekend. We were. And Serbia is awesome. 
Serbian people are amazing. Yeah, that's that's the best thing. Amazing people. Serbian Serbian people are lo so lovely. Serbian food. And they're probably they're probably the most hospitable people I've ever come across. You know, I was in Kuwait a few weeks prior, and uh, they were very hospitable. But it's hard to tell which, like, if Kuwait or Serbia was more Serbian people more hospitable. I, I, I almost it seems kind of weird that it could be a competition as well. We should have, we should make that happen. I almost feel like, through no fault of Kuwait, Serbian people are more hospitable. Yeah, they are beautiful people, man. Honestly, yeah. very very nice place. I can't wait to go back to Serbia sometime. The food was awesome as well. Yep, yeah, I, I would like to. I think we 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 both uh, have some good friends there. And our, I mean, our video editor is from Serbia as well. He, he, he showed us the uh, the real Serbia. <laughs> yeah. So it's, syn it's synonymous with rakia, which is a a fantastic uh, drink that they have there. I mean, we enjoyed it. I'm never drinking ever again. Nice. That's all I have to say about that. Indeed, it's always good to see uh, to see Thorin as well because it's been a while for me. I haven't seen Thorin in person for quite a while, and he's really happy at this event for some reason. He's just happy and very jovial. It's always good to yeah. be happy. Anyway, um, I think we might need to go to a quick break to get this sorted out. Uh, just bear with us, and we should be back very, very shortly with the rest of the match, guys. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Bomb has been planted. Feel so free, just believe we can come alive We're so far from the ground But I'm not looking down Feel the warmth of the breeze rushing over me Now we're soaring high Reach and touch the sky
Hello and welcome back to the show. Apologies for that. Error has been fixed. We asked the uh, players to continue just so as not to uh, disrupt everyone's schedule for the evening. So, you can see uh, Titan are at a 5-0 lead here versus Envy. Although, this is looking like a difficult round for both teams so far. Over a minute on the clock, just down to a 3 versus 3. Yeah, it's uh, interesting considering the, the start that we saw, but we'll go back into that a little bit later. So we've got a bit of a standstill here as MVSR set up in middle, and there it is. They found shocks by underpass, and that is going to allow them to start making some ground. Kishima with two kills. That will put them straight into that A bomb side if they choose to go there. But Smith is lurking with the AWP. However, once he fires a shot, he is probably screwed in this position. He's going to get the kill. But actually, that said, both players here for Envious decided to go elsewhere. Anyway, so at the very least, the death of Kiyoshima there was not in vain as they were able to locate Smith and go the other way. So Bomb will go down here for Envious as Smith makes the rotation. If he can get a fast kill here, this is absolutely doable and Happy might just give him an opportunity to do so. Yeah, Happy looking to cl close off the choke points before the Bomb is anywhere near the site, although Smith has decided to change his route here, which will be... Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Well, he's still, I mean, he's, he has time to go for it if he's going all the way through apps. Probably expecting one player to come in from the window, but uh, he's, I mean, he's, he's going to have very little time if he chooses to actually push this. Yeah, he's, I guess he's just giving them the respect in the two versus one that they'll just play this optimally. I, I can understand why he would why he would think that. His chances to win this are so hard because depending on where they planted the bomb, they can have any number of setups that if he was to come in from sharp or shorts, or even the apartments, they could have an immediate trade. They could get just the crossfires going. So, you know, a Smith couldn't catch them on, you know, trying to get the setup, and he would, would instead be walking into one. I guess he made a really smart choice, James. Yeah, I think the call probably came from Existence. Double Ops coming out for Titan now. Existence being the man picking up the second one. Was a prolific Alper and Saucer, I am told. Don't see it too often, though, on the Titan side, but again, he has had prolific Alpers on his side. So he's going to be peaking the connecting area. Look at this speed going down into the underpass here. Titan looking very prepared. Very nice crossfire between uh, Smith's existence. Molotov just going to try and slow the players down. You can see them both focusing up top. Once that Molotov starts to disappear, you can see Smith's adjusting. Oh, another Molotov. Look at this. I told you these guys drilled Mirage very well. And existence will take down Happy lurking towards A. And here comes the moving into mid though from Envious. It's not going so well for this. Apex, you can try to start to even things up as he does pick up a kill towards underpass. And that's going to set Scream lurking into uh, the palace area. So this is going to allow Titan to understand what is going on right now, or at least get, paint a better picture. They're playing very passively with that one-man advantage. But now, you know, Scream in that palace spot, they might not be necessarily thinking that this is going to be A, but it's so hard to tell at this point. Existence really needs that peacon connector, and he is going to go for it. He's holding the angle. And, oh, what a snap there onto Apex. That's a beautiful kill there from Existence. And that's also going to force Envious to start pushing. But there's only two men left against the four members of Titan. And time is running out for them. 25 seconds. They're just begging the CTs to peak them. But they're being very patient indeed. Two players per site. That flash is going to cause a rotation from RPK towards the A site. You can see the bomb coming in almost solo. Scream of a strong position. But he's going to get shut down by Kishima. That might be a bomb plant. Indeed, it is Kishima advancing his position. Man advantage over Titan. Made two. This is Kishima alone now versus RPK shocks and existence all crawling on the site. Two men coming from CT. Kishima will find RPK and he gets himself another one versus one. Put it down to just him and existence. He's got flashes to play with. And existence has the AWP and the Molotov. Existence though is going to uh, fake after being unable to get the frag with the P2000. Kishima coming back and he will eventually get taken down. But existence has no kit and Envy will win the round regardless. Oh, that's so gutting, not having a kit there. After the 4K as well, brilliant play from Existence. I don't even know how Envious pulled that one off. They were two versus four in that situation. So pretty sick round for them to win. And we're going to see the stress on the economy. Titan don't have much money to play with. It lo you know, lovely save, though, by Existence in the end. At least, at least there was that. He's able to save that AWP and throw it over towards Smith, who has a bit of spawn from middle as well. But we've got to buy on Envious now. And hey, if, if Titan can win this with this suboptimal buy, it actually doesn't look too bad. And there is a kit on the screen. If they, but if they can win this round, they're going to break Envious' economy. So Titan, this, they're in a good position, even though it might not look look that way. Yeah, that was a really nice round by both sides. But credit to Kiyoshima. Just getting the one versus one on the site, despite two players coming from CT, then instantly looking towards Connector, waiting for a potential trade fragger, popping him as well. And then just not enough time for Existence to defuse. A sad end 
to a beautiful story, Dan. Yeah, and here is uh, Mr. Lurk. We talked about him a little bit before. And he might catch Existence. So careful. And indeed, he will actually get a bit of damage onto Existence, down 24 HP. And uh, Happy actually went for that peak just as some distraction came in from middle. So the coordination is there from the team. He's going to finish Existence off with the nade. But the trade comes in from Smith. But Envious, in the meanwhile, are getting closer and closer to Connector. And hey, Apex looks like he just wants to run straight forwards into that A-bomb site. And RPK is the man to stop it. Scream appears to be playing uh, close. Not the, quite the ninja spot, but he is on the site itself. And uh, he's got a teammate just trying to stop the... People from Connector from taking him down. RPK picking up the first one, getting traded by Kenny S. Scream is in fireboxes, in fact, just waiting patiently. Bit of harassment coming his way, and surely the T's will check this. It's three versus two. He could get a two man here. Oh, he tried to pre fire the shadow, but it went in the wrong direction, and he would expose his position and go down. Just shocks with a 5 7 now. But he could win around here. There's only 12 seconds left for the bomb to go down. Hot flesh coming in as well. And, oh, but the bomb being planted towards triple, but he stopped planting. There's only five seconds left. Kishim, though, will take him down and protect Happy as he eventually does get that plant. Yeah, I would feel pretty good if, if the guy protecting me was Kiyoshima. And he's on a tear right now. He's got 12 kills straight away. I mean, if you look at the rest of his team, Kenneth's on one kill. It was an important one, though. It was a trade frag in, through connectors onto RPK. So that, that, that was a very impactful kill that Kenny has got. But it's only one so far. However, maybe this round will yield more success for him. Happy's going to take his orb into Palace, which is quite interesting, as, as Kenny S works in from a, a very defensive angle from the, the entrance to the terrorist side of the apartments. And that's quite interesting, because we have a super passive round here from Envious. They got picked up two orbs. So this is going to be a very, very slow round. And... A little bit of aggression anyway, knowing that Titan are on pistols at the moment. And so far, so good for Envious. One frag. Envious will spot an extra player. So they're starting to put pieces of the pieces of the puzzle together, are Envious, as to where Titan are actually hiding with these pistols. And slowly but surely they'll make their way closer and closer to these pistols. And you can see Envy still playing super passively at the moment. You can see towards A, there's got one up top and one down at the bottom. They've got control of connector as well. So the bomb will head there as they've got all their T's crossed and their I's dotted. And as so the phrase goes, the existence on the site getting wrecked by Kenny S again. Titan R just on a Yuko here. So we rejoin the game at 5-0 and we are headed towards uh, 5-4 in favor of the Titan side. So a great start from them. Very Again, they were very unfortunate to lose a particular round where a kit was the difference, and they find themselves in this position now with Envy holding both doors and Smith with just a P250. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting from this point forward because, you know, four rounds is, is you know, you know Envy's are starting to finally get somewhere. They're starting to get some momentum into this one. As soon as they start to get to six to seven, Titan get, will start to get more and more worried because, you know, you really are, lo are looking at a 9 6 kind of situation. Uh, most of the time and look at the amount of orbs on the map at the moment two for either side shocks and smiths picking up the awp i really wanted to see shocks orping a little bit on the ct side and smiths will kick off the action mbk is going to fall in mid and smiths is going to safely fall back great start there for titan but in comes a very fast kenny s as well this is a big pace from envious actually oh smiths just trying to see if there's a gap in the smoke anywhere He's going to get punished for it by kenny s standing tall on short but he's got people headed his way there's an RPK to find. RPK has been found. Shocks goes down as well. Out of position with the AWP. And that is a bum rush into the B bomb sites. Now, Titan's man advantage has been annihilated. They've only got one of the two orbs remaining, and they're in a situation where they have to save. You can see existence paranoid that someone might be lurking towards Palace, but they're going to try and uh, use the A site to hold on to what they can. Yeah, it's quite a cool way that Envious played that round. I mean, they put a lot of. A lot of players towards short, a lot of pressure towards short, and it's kind of fast pace. And we, you know, with the double orb on both sides, having you know middle smoked as they did, and once they finally get deeper into those uh, positions towards short and towards uh, connectors, that starts to get actually really scary when you've got Kenny S and Apex trying to enter you. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not this this trend will continue from MVS. Are they going to keep abusing the double orb? Will Titan find a punish? This is not the round to find out, of course, as we have a save coming in from Titan as they are low on the monies. And Envious can start to roll away with this, but 15 frags on Kiyoshima. It's, it's quite amazing to see how well he's playing with that, that AK in, against Titan at the moment. Yeah, he is up in there. I thought it was looking good for my prediction, Dan, but now 5-5, five, five, who knows where this game will go. Five more rounds to fight for on the first half. 
Again, passive start from Envy. Bomb just looking towards top mid, making sure there's no push from the CT side. Again, it is Titan on a bit of a force buy here, which is not working out for them. I'm looking forward to seeing Titan's T side, actually. Shot. Is he close enough for the one tap? Indeed, he is. Going to pick up a weapon from Kiyoshima. But the bomb's still holding top mid, but with Apex emerging on bottom mid, that will start to rotate towards A. Yeah, so not much damage really done, and... Yeah, I, d I did feel a little bit harsh, you know, just Titan in predicting such a, a crushing advantage for Envious overall. But, uh, hey, the stats back me up, at the very least, at the moment. Ooh, nice little kill there from RPK. A little bit of extra damage is obviously at this early stage in the, the first half. Well, not that early, but still early enough that economic damage is going to be impactful. So that's always good. And Shox might well be able to save this AK. And considering the buy that's coming in in the next round for Titan, that's going to help a lot. And also considering the, re the recent patch, I'm pretty sure that most players will prefer having an AK over the 1S and the A4 these days. I really love the double Molotov play in mid from Titan. Because if you look at the traditional like setups from Fnatic, for example, where somebody is playing aggressive towards top mid. Shox doesn't have a kit here, actually, which would have been kind of interesting. He's going to move away with that solitary frag and save what he has. Only two NV players surviving, which is good for the in terms of money spending that needs to be done. But again, that double Molotov play allowed Existence to be focusing on the A side. It essentially gave them an extra man in a situation where they would normally need two people in mid. But here we go. Titan back on the buy again. Four ops. Two plus two is four, Dan. I learned that a very long time ago. And it sticks with me today. Yeah, well, I mean, th this seems to be what both teams want to be doing. And it's quite interesting because you don't... It's not common that to see the T side have so many orbs. I mean, you see it on Dust2. You see Dust2 like this all the time. And we have a lot of Dust2s today. Three, in fact, in a row at the end. On today's broadcast. But so far, Envious have been making it work. Because usually the problem with this is that you get kind of static. You get kind of stuck as the T's with the orbs. But having, you know, the orbs on the likes of Kenny S and Happy, well, hey, you've, you've got a lot of potential to actually push those orbs pretty quickly into any position and still do a lot of damage. So that's where their skill really changes the entire dynamic. And here it comes a bit of a movement, it would seem, towards the B apps from Envious. So, Scream, looks like he wants to play on top of the platform. You can re-smack Palace from below. But uh, as you can see, you have, the, you have the choice of either. But he wants to play up there for now. He does have Existence holding his back from the bottom. So he doesn't need to worry about Tetris for the time being. Again, Envy starting to take over the uh, connector area. There are so many Envy players here. Smith's unable to get the second frag. There are three more players here for Envy. Shock's worth him just going for a spray. He's going to take down NVK Existence now, having to reposition, which means Scream's going to have to go under the palace because he doesn't have cover anymore. Happy looking for him. He will punish Happy for that. Only Kiyoshima remaining who trades Scream. Scream versus Shocks now. Kiyoshima three versus Shocks. Bomb's been picked up by Kiyoshima. Making a lot of noise moving towards the site. Shocks will have an idea of where he is and he will snap his head off. Titan back to winning ways. It's, you know, tr leave it to Scream to be almost directly below somebody but still get a headshot. I don't know if you can explain to me how that works. But that's what sc scream, hashtag just Scream thinks. So 6-6 six, six and Titan definitely uh, not looking too horrendous on the scoreline. But they need to get a couple more to feel safe. Smith's on the AWP, no armor to speak of. At least there's a few more kits on the team this time, but we've got a very fast round, very fast indeed. Look at Apex go, straight into connector after a, a mere 15 seconds, and Existence will not expect this, but Smith has the cover. Nice refrag there from him. That's RPK repositions, and it's aggression from Envious. It's only just beginning. Envy have, they've, it's very clear that they've noticed something and they're trying to exploit Titan's lack of control in that connector area. You know, in some rounds we've seen strong presence in mid. Come back to that later. Shox is going to take down NBK. RPK is starting to have a look, see what's going on in the mid area. Man advantage for Titan as the remainder of the Envy players head towards B. It looks like Happy might have an angle with that AWP actually, which uh, RPK might find himself at the wrong end of shortly. Happy starting to move forward now and clear the areas, looking for that. Uh, position standing on the wood, but RPK is clearing house here, a very easy three-man for him. And that's really important for Titan, you know, they started 5-0 up, then they started to lose a bunch of rounds, had economical woes, they survived that round of four players thanks to that three-man from RPK. Very unusual circumstances, or unexpected you might say, but there we go. Great plus for their economy. That third kill was a bit nuts. I don't think he, I don't think he expected for that to happen, but that was pretty brutal. Titan now, and with a really strong chance to have a at that 9-6 finish. But they've got to deal with a few AKs and a couple of deagles in the hands of the envious players. So you can never take those these rounds for granted. And 
so far, I mean, they're, they're playing pretty slow, actually. They're, they're playing kind of reactively to begin with, taking some easy map control. But Existence, you know, MEK is going to be poking in to see if he can get a shot off. I like that from Existence, just quickly dispatching him straight away and not letting MVK in with any opportunities. They've got middle now, Envious. Start to see some contact in Connector, and this is where most of these rounds have started to really be decided. Look at the confidence from Apex. He's going to throw the smoke and turn away, not giving a damn. Smithsto will actually punish him for it. How dare you be so audacious. Five versus three now. And again, this looks very fragile the way that uh, Titan is trying to hold on to Connector here. But walking into an AWP scope is never going to be a good idea. Happy goes down as well. Envy is starting to, or have fallen apart in round 14. Only two left, one of which has a mere deagle to play with. Not really enough time on the clock to rotate and pick up one of those weapons, nor would it be safe. You can see Titan starting to move up mid with three players deep into A now. Yeah, Kenny S is going to be have, having to make a difference there. He doesn't get a spot, but not the frag. And that is going to be that. Surely just Kiyoshima left. And Existence, he's been playing really well so far. I mean, that initial kill on the MBK was really nice. And he's even top fragging now. I mean, actually, Existence in this lineup has been individually better than, than in previous iterations of Titan, I must say. He's taking more aggressive roles. Normally, he's just a, the nade man in the background. But now he knows he needs to step up and uh, get the kills as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you can see the last buy was a bit difficult for Envy. This one will be even more so. No bomb plant for them. It's going to be only the one AK and four pistol. Smith starting to get a bit hungry, a bit agitated, a bit restless. Doesn't want to go too far, though. Happy just waiting for him there. Ooh, Happy almost showing an elbow, but Smith may be expecting somebody to just be keeping an eye on the, the proceedings. And indeed, Happy will make himself known and die for it. Three man push now into A. Screams the first man to take the first frag. As there are more players challenging him, his help is coming though, and it's looking very difficult for him to get past that initial choke point. Frags going backwards and forwards here, but just a tech nine for Kenny as he's somehow going to get an extra kill onto existence. Will he pick up a weapon? Will he find himself some kind of salvation? Oh, doesn't get a chance to pull the trigger. Shocks will save Titan in that round. Nine six will be the first half score for them, and that is a fantastic result. That's something that you would kind of expect. That's, that's, that's a comfortable scoreline. You've got lots to work with moving into your T side. But let's not forget, they did win the pistol round. So all to play for in the second half. And again, looking at the small detail that you, see, you, ha you can see Titan have worked on again, going back to those double Molotovs in mid. I can't wait to see what they have to offer on the T side. Again, with their old lineup, we saw interesting things. Once they had lost a pistol round, let's see if they can win this one. Four players with Kevlar, and again, back to uh, old school. Existence going to be the nade guy, carrying the bomb as well, allowing his teammates to do what they do very well indeed. So, big presence from Titan on top mid as well, where the bomb is. Won't be much indication as to where the bomb might be headed. Seen in that position. Shocks deep into Connector, and he's going to get flashed into Connector. But there is somebody there to duel with. No one going down for either side yet, but Apex has been lost to scream in CT spawn. The CT is now pushing mid in numbers, but there's only one man traded for both sides. There we go, two man squad there in the, the window room. You know, a bit of a standstill here. And he's trying to coordinate themselves in, but they didn't account for Smiths. In from the back, that's going to be critical damage done by Smiths. However, is it going to be enough right now? It's just Scream who's left alive after a great response here from Envious. And, but the bomb is down. He's got to try to work with this. And Happy knows it. He's going to go in for the spot. And he finds some shots there. Scream. Not going to take much damage. And he will get the bomb planted safely. That's a big deal. But can Happy secure this one? It's so important here for Envious to win this round. They don't want to lose both pistols. So there's Scream. He's trying to bail some shots. And Happy's having none of it. Good shot there to end the round and get the defuse for his team. And Envious will avoid losing both pistol rounds and will give themselves the opportunity to do to Titan, as was, was done today. Question is now, this is the situation where Titan have got a bomb plant, but they've lost the pistol. Are they going to go for the uh, smoke execute? Oh, this is interesting. They're dropping AKs for people to pick up armor. They want to break Envy immediately, so there are yet more strats coming out from Titan here. Wait, 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 wait. You're giving the AK to existence, not to RPK shocks or scream, but to existence. Well, let's see what he can do with it. That's a good start. Kenny is going down in CPL. We've got a nade coming on, to, a smoke coming on to short, in fact, which could suggest a play through into connector. But will they dare push the smoke through to B, trying to fake a rotation? 
This is working out well so far. Four versus three now. They've got no more weapons picked up yet. Just the AK and Galil onto Existence and Smiths, respectively. Existence, so down to 30. As he throw the AK over to RPK now. He's carrying the bomb at the moment, but he's headed all the way back up mid. Yeah, RPK, I mean, he's the other guy who has the helmet on the team. So that would be a really good switch. I imagine they're going to go for that as well. And they can give the bomb to Existence or something, as he's so weak. I don't really want to take engagements with him, but he's actually pushing forwards by himself at the moment. I'm going to throw in a nade, trying to bait out a player. Interesting, they might try to change course now. But Happy would be below them. He's coming up the stairs, and he will find an engagement. They are walking very slowly, and there's the first shots fired. Scream's not going to go down, but the nade should do the damage. Oh my god, Scream and Existence will both survive somehow. And RPK will pick up a forward frag onto MPK. He'll get himself into the bomb site and plant. That's going to alleviate the pressure from the flank, but Happy will still be there. He'll still be getting the kill onto Existence. And I don't even know how RPK got that bomb down, but here it is. The one on two by the bench. There is the next frag. He's going to clutch it against Happy now. One versus one. Oh, he cannot get it done. Happy will save the round and he'll get the defuse as well. I wow, I thought that round was so over when Happy got those initial shots off. Yeah, very unlucky not to get a frag there, but the round will go to them regardless. Nice play by Titan though, keeping Envy on their toes, and they did wreck the money of Envy there. It's going to be a difficult buy for them coming up. And what is the play from Titan? They got another bomb plant, yep, but of yeah. course the money isn't fantastic. But they're doing it again, Dan. They're dropping the AKs for people to pick up armor. Yeah, after, they ha they, after those four kills, got to be done. May I'm still surprised that it was Existence that had the initial AK instead of RPK. But either way, we're going to move into a, a similar round from Titan. They're going to barrel up middle together, using those numbers, using those AKs. Because those AKs are going to be far more powerful. They know this. they cannot be an open play. They know that. So this is so smart from them. Three AKs. Last time they had an AK and a good ult, so even more coming out. Look at Kishima, just down to the 5 7 here. Really interesting. Oh, there's a surprise. Scream is going to shoot Apex straight in the face. Boost coming in CPL as well. Kishima goes down, but Kenya's coming in with a two man. Happy coming in through the smoke. Going to take down Shocks in Connector. This is going in, uh, sorry, RPK in Connector. This is going anyone's way. Left. Look at the, the taps. That is absolutely insane. Being sprayed down by NBK. And he's going to tap him in the face. One versus one. Now he only needs one bullet. And you know that Scream is capable of it more than anybody else with only 16 HP. Yeah, there's no idea where Kenyas is going to be coming from. But he can try to mitigate it by taking good position. He's going to go forward into CT. But the steps will be heard. And Kenyas is just going to wait for him. Not much to do in that position. But for Scream to land in such a position where there's so much damage. That's phenomenal. Oh, Look at the such BM. BM. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't go full teabag there. Maybe that's to be that's he's saving it, he's saving it for later. Wow, I like that. <laughs> I like it. Very amusing. So let's see what the buy is of Envy again. They survived with only one player. They have and to buy again. That's the and the madness continues yeah, yeah, from Titan. To. I love this. I love it. It's even better because they get more money from losing each round and they get the bomb down and getting four kills every time. So. Envious when they eventually they get broken, which in theory they should, and we're gonna have an, might have an execute here now. It's go, it's gonna be so hard to come back from that. But they have the open Kenny S now, but he's been tagged down going for a peak already. So Titan, they could be in a good position if Shocks is able to get a fast opener. But looks like Envious have been proactive. Happy's lurking behind the smoke and short so on Shocks here. This is, this is on uh, it's the razor's edge at the moment for both teams. Who's gonna give first? We get a trade coming in. That's gonna push Titan to a decision now, and they're going into connector. And it seems Connect is going to be dominated by the T's on both halves. Kishima going down, and now the T's are pushing the bomb site again. The A bomb site. Scream with the taps onto Happy this time. Two versus two. It's Kenyas with an AWP and NBK with a Mag 7 versus Scream with an AK and Smith with a Tech 9. This is insane. Where do they choose to go? You can see Kenny's lurking like a shark in still waters towards the A site, and it seems that Titan have made the correct play, at least for now. Oh, it's NBK though with the Mag. And if he times this well. This could be a phenomenal performance, but playing it patiently. There's the snap, but it's going to be Smith who picks up the kill. Fearless as always. And here it is. Kenny is now looking to go for the save. This is hard, though, with the AWP. Will Smith actually give him a, an angle to use? Looks like he won't, and Kenny S understands this is pretty much impossible. And considering that they lost four players again, and then Kenny S is going to survive with the AWP, that is, that's key because they don't have any money now. I mean, if we look at uh, Envious's money right now, they should have nothing. Yeah, so they're going to have 2k, most of them. Around 2k dollars. Apex will be the richest man with $2,500, James. This is a very exciting match. The, the four spies, awesome. 
It's so great when you when you see the T's drop AKs to people with armor. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah. force it up as hard as possible. Oh yeah. And yeah. just go in on the CT side, barely surviving. Now we have a challenge on our hands for Envy. And just to a reminder, Titan have not yet won a map in this uh, this stage of the Face It League. They are down six maps now. So they can salvage this, but they have to win every single game that they've got left pretty much to be safe, to be really safe. Now, it's just that one orb. Where is Kenny? Yes, exactly. He's in middle. But we're going to have a full execute on the B bomb site. Of course, Titan are good for this. Of course, they got all the nades, and they're in. Scream leading the charge with a P90. You don't see this every day. How far is he going to push? He's got many people to fight. There's the first one down. Taking all the corners properly. He won't. Happy's going to get the tag with the P250 and pick up the P90. Quickly traded, though, by RPK, who gets Kishima as well. And Kenny's in another position where he needs to run for dear life. He can, if these t Titan plays hunt for him, Kenny's capable of putting a lot of damage their way as they try to hunt him down. We'll have to see who ends up on top. Kenny finding the awkward ankles, but jumping out of the corner. Smith won't be enough. Kenny will take him down. He's got his next target coming in existence. Who uh, has a nice play. Kenny's completely blind. Gonna try and smoke himself off. Let's see what he can do. And as expected, he's going to get some damage in. It's hard to take down a Kenny S with an AWP, even when he's saving. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I love how Titan, you know, they, they realized Scream had the best spawn, so I guess Existence would have said, all right, grab that P90, and you can just go first, because that means you can keep running, you can keep the push going, there's gonna be no stopping and shooting, just keep going. So I love the little bits, the little pieces there to the puzzle of uh, Titan's success in that round, and it looks like they're gonna go for something similar, but this time they can all get the AKs going, so maybe my theory wasn't quite correct. Either way, MBK is gonna be there, thrown in the nades, he's got the bam as, as the first headshot onto Scream, he's got a, a Kenny S there for support from Shop, as well as Kiyoshima, things are looking fantastic here for Envious' defense, just Smith left now on the push, and he's against four players, and he's getting any damage done, there's the first headshot onto Apex, oh my god, Smith gets one, oh, but he gets knifed! Oh, we get the BM again, and the money as well, that will actually be quite useful for Kiyoshima. That, that was a spectacular hold by NBK. The fact that, you know, he doesn't have any player running towards short to hear the rush coming in early. They, NB basically had four players around mid slash A in that situation. And he managed to get a lot of nades out, get the smoke down as well. Probably a bit lucky to get that first frag. And uh, after that, his teammates had already rotated in. And there we go, NB back on the scoreboard. Now Titan going for the fourth once again here. Double tech nine for Existence and Smiths with the uh, big men on the AKs. Uh, Kenny is looking to spy through the smoke with the AWP, but nothing is available just yet. Titan likely but gonna build into an execute. They do have quite some nades to do so, and it would be in their interest considering the kinds of weapons that they are, they are holding at the moment. But I like that they open the round as a default. It's gonna create a situation where Envious are a little bit less, uh, well, they, they have a l less information, so it's a bit more obsc obscure for, for the opposition. But that said, with the bombers moving towards B at the moment, very passive positions in from Envious, but somewhat expected to stand it. And here it is, the distraction play from existence into the A site. Well, he's looking for engagement, but there is no engagement, they're reading the situation, and there are three people headed over towards the B bomb site. Going to have one k taken down from short RPK and Scream though is coming in to take the site for their team's bomb planted. Now the three remaining Envy players have to come in for the retake. This is a great round so far. Nice set up here from Titan. They are three on three. Still have to close. And in comes Envious through these doorways into the site. And they are going to find some excellent angles here onto these Titan players. But still two are left. RPK in this position again. We've seen it once. There's the first kill. He knows where the second player is coming from. He's holding the angle, trying to go for the free fires. Where is he? There it is. Apex goes down. RPK will save the round from that position. And it's going to be 12-10 in Titan's favor now. As uh, we're seeing quite an interesting game because this, this is getting dangerous for Envy. They're two rounds to the deficit. And on top of that, they have no money, James. We've seen such patient bursts from both Scream and RPK. It's been really fantastic to watch in high pressure situations where a lot, a lot of people might lose their call cool and just spray down relentlessly. They're keeping control. They're keeping control of their aim and uh, popping heads very calmly, which is great. So NBK is having a bit of a uh, network issue. So there's going to be a bit of a pause coming in while he tries to resolve that. Did have some at the beginning of the match as well. So hopefully they can be done fairly soon. So.
I believe it's twelve ten, right? To Titan. Yeah. So how are you feeling now? So uh -huh. the, the, one of the cool things about this Titan lineup, you know, maybe it has some more uh, developments um, to, to to be done on how the roles work and all this kind of stuff. Um, but what you'll notice about the lineup is that now that you have Shocks and you've got Smiths on there, and you've got this situation where you know with RPK getting he gets RPK is just getting better all the time. He's he's a, he's a consistent player. He delivers cons uh, co pretty consistently, I think, for Titan. You've got a lot of individual strength here that never really was on some of the previous editions of, of this Titan lineup. You know, we talked about this before, and uh, you know, I said how before they would rely on Kenny S and they would rely on some of the star players. But you can see that the, the ethos has changed because even existence himself, as you noted, is putting himself in positions of individual, where you know, you, you're expecting individual performance, which is he sh would shy away from that previously. So it feels like the ethos has changed around, essentially, you know, it's the style that we see from Fnatic. It's the style that we see from TSM. You know, it's the style that we see from, from teams like this and Virtus Pro as well. I mean, all the players can, can do all the roles, some better than others, but no one is, is trying to put, them, put you know, too much pressure on themselves to just do one thing. And I think that's a good direction to take the team. Absolutely. Yeah, it's always nice to see in-game leaders get more involved as well. Uh, so and, and again, the versatil versatility we see him on a pistol round. He's a nade guy. He's carrying the bomb as well, allowing his team to go and get those frags. But when it's time to frag, then he will go as well. He will charge up mid with the AK while uh, Scream runs around with a pistol, get that entry frag, etc., etc. So yeah, it's really interesting. And again, Titan always evolving. Like in the in the Face It League, for those of you who are, who are in the Face It League, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the format. There is um, basically all every match, the maps are known in advance from the beginning of the league, at least in Europe and North America. Um, so Titan are one of the teams who prepare more than any other team, I would say, for every specific match, map, etc. So there's always, or often, uh, new things to see when, when they are playing a game. Again, such as that double Molotov play, which is very novel. And that, that, that double Molotov play allowed existence to frag Happy on a slope. Otherwise, he would have had to be have been covering Smith's back in yep. mid. So again, it's the, ex the extra man factor there. Yeah, it seems like um, there's a lot more that's actually working out for this lineup now because, because the, ta the tactics and strategy is still there for the team. But it feels like they're able to actually get more out of it because they're more rounded like from an individual perspective. And with that you know, slightly higher pace in some of the rounds, that, yeah, they just feel more capable. Obviously, you know, this, this is just one map of course, so you can't take anything too far for granted. Um, but it would be great for them to win this because, again, as I said, their record against Envious right now is actually just terrible. It's terrible. The only win that they've had has been on cash, and it was, and, that, and that's like one map in the last like like eight to 12 maps. So the rest they, they've lost to, to Envious. So we, we would be seeing something. That, I mean, this actually does look much, uh, this, as far as all the time matches I've seen, this, this look, they're looking at their best at the moment to me. Yeah, yeah. Screen, I expect it's working, structure's working, existence is working, RPK. Yeah, seems like a fluid machine, and the existence is decision making. I mean, let's not be outcome oriented with the, with those. Yeah. You know, the four spies taking four plays done to eventually break the C2 economy. Like, the decision making, just generally speaking, has been really fun, and it's great to see. You know, like uh, Titan are one of the teams I study more on the on the T side than other teams on Mirage, um, specifically, and they're still showing me new things with with that decision making, as opposed to sometimes where they would go for the uh, B execute with smokes and so on and get that second plant in to get a bigger buy. But but. Also, it's an adjustment for each team as well. You know, and a team like Envy with money in front of them, we've seen what they can do on the CT side of Mirage with the double AWP, auto sniper, etc. So, um, you know, it's always great to see from Titan. So I think we might have to go to a break here because uh, the NBK issues are taking a little bit longer than we thought they might. So bear with us, guys. We'll try to uh, help him resolve them and then be back with the rest of the game.
Hello and welcome back to the show. So, uh, NBK had some weird routing issues, so the admins have taken a decision to postpone the end of that match until that can be resolved, hopefully a bit later on tonight. So for the time being, we're going to go over to Fnatic NV, um, which is going to start on a different server, so hopefully everyone's routing is going to be fine. That's going to be on train. What are your thoughts, Mr. Kapadia? Or Kapadia? Kapadia, that's how I say it. So... Because I'm posh, James. What are your thoughts? Oh, very nice. <laughs> I see what you did there, Dan. Um, so my thoughts on this match is it's obviously very difficult to call. You've got two, two amazing teams. And uh, as, far as, as far as both teams go in the current uh, meta game on this map, we are seeing a lot less executes on the A train yard. And it's, it's fine in the sense that it really rewards the strength of dueling with the A, like being able to move quickly into the A yard as the T side and taking engagements together with the with the AKs and just maybe with like one smoke or something, you can you can create a situation which allows you to get those advantages with the angels and still be able to get the cover to get the bomb down. So that's kind of what teams are favoring a little bit more. So to me.